A family in Ionia is grieving the loss of their two-year-old son, Jackson, who drowned in their backyard pool. Now they are sharing their story with Fox 17's Julie Donmeyer in the hopes that no other family has to go through what they're experiencing. The Lauer family sat down with me Monday at their Ionia home to talk about the hardest day they've ever had. So unfortunately we did lose our son um, in a very tragic accident that we wish could have been prevented. Sunday, July 5th, mom Sarah went to the bathroom. In the minute she didn't have an eye on two-year-old baby boy Jackson, he opened the pool gate in the backyard by himself for the first time ever. And I walked out and I could see the door just slightly open and I just instantly, just my heart panicked. By the time she found him in the pool, it was too late. I hold the ones you love dearly because, like you said, you never know. In the blink of an eye, literally like 30 seconds, that's all it took. This family wants to make sure no other family goes through the loss they have. I think I could have done something. We always think about the thousand what ifs. Which is why they're hoping Jackson's story, one of a fun-loving, smiley little boy, will serve as a warning to other parents, saying if there's one thing you take away from their loss, it's to put gates around pools, door alarms, and take every possible precaution. The door alarms, something as simple as like a five a five dollar purchase you can put on, we could, something like that could have been prevented. Infant resource swim instructor Michelle Davis says these types of drownings are always heartbreaking, but not uncommon. Actually, the number one cause of accidental death in children ages one through four. A statistic the Lauer family didn't think they'd ever be a part of. That, you know. If I hadn't left the house, I, I blame myself for that. Going to the bathroom, you know, it's just silly things like that where it's just like you are hard on yourself or if we that, had a gate on the pool, you know, mm, it, something as simple as that. Jackson's older sisters simply wishing they had more time with their little brother. I think that it would be better just to be with him one last time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We would take anything in the world just to get him back one last day. In Ionia, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.